In this video, we're going to explore how you can use display none or well, this is a very straightforward video, especially if you're very beginner, this is a useful for you to understand display none. So display none is a standard CSS code to hide a specific item. So let me show you. So let's give a demo here. Display oh, so we can say here diff. We create a diff, uh, let's say a class, and then we have box one. And then we have another one here. Let's copy this. Or we can just put them all together. It doesn't matter. And then we say here diff as a box number two. All right. So we have two of these items here. So what we're going to do here in CSS, we're going to first assign them. So let's say here the following. We'll say here box one or class box one. And in box one, we have a uh, call it background. I'll give it a simple background color of triple tree all right that's number one and then we say here padding 30 pixels and then finally here another one we say box number two and in this one will be triple nine and the padding here will be 60 pixels so that will be far bigger so once we save this and refresh you can see here now we have the items here with display none Basically, you are hiding it, but you're hiding it not by not being, sh not only not show your customers, but it's also not being considered as a part of the CSS or as the code for Google. Google will not calculate this. And also, if you have like certain items that are not, that are using hide like an input, it will also not read those. This is very important to remember. So let me show you exactly here. We have here display. And then we say display none. Once we do this and we refresh, we can see now it doesn't show it at all. If we open up our developer tab, you can see here, it doesn't show here. Well, it shows this, but it doesn't show it at all. It's not really considered as it because it's being as a display none. The moment it's active, it shows here. So what happened if we would have another item here? So don't confuse this with visibility because visibility will maintain its position. So let's put in here another box, box number three, and then I'm going to show you after visibility. Then the background, and this background will be, I give it a nice unique color. I have no idea what color this is, but we'll see. Padding, let's say padding 40, 40 and then display that. That's all right. Then once we refresh, you can see now it's being shown here. So if you would just comment this out, you will see this will just jump down. All right. So what happened if you say instead of displays with visibility, and they say hidden. Then you see the CSS will respond differently. So what happened now is you have here a gap in the code. Because now the search engine or the browser really sees it and recognizes it still. It's hidden. But it's not being it's so basically it's being displayed in a way that is not visible i hope that makes sense so it works exactly the same uh, it consumes the same amount of space it consumes basically the entire part here and the other divs will makes will calculate the hidden or the hidden space here the invisible space so basically this box is invisible but it's still still there so that's why the visibility is none. It could be like 100% transparency. Visibility is is none, but or visibility is hidden. So meaning that you don't see it, but it's still there. With display none, it is completely not being considered. So if you have an input that you use hidden, it will be still used or it will still be able to get the data. But if you use display none on the input box, and you would submit that the display none field will not be shown very very important to know this is why if you have an input which shows here like this input let's say here input and then we say here type say here text all right then you have another input and this input is considered hidden all right so if you have this here you see here an input, 
Do we see the other one? We don't see the other one, so let's put this on text first. Refresh, you see we have two here right now. So if we would select this and we say here instead of type, we say hidden. Oh, you have to make sure it's typed correctly, hidden. It's still there. It still calculates the value. By display none, if you say here then, and then we assign the input here to display none, and you will submit the form, only this value will be selected. This is why you use input type hidden here to extract still data, but you don't want to show it to your customer. For example, you have an affiliate, an affiliate gets the the commission, but you don't want to show the customer when they put an input or when they save that the affiliate code will be stored as well. Because this is usually with an affiliate is quite common. Then it says here maybe here value equals affiliate uh, affiliate id one for example i have no idea i'm just making up some code what happened is here let's look at this we go here to a hex text hidden the affiliate here is still being so sh shown it just doesn't show here in here for the customer for those purposes so very very important so it's quite long for basically for something very straightforward but i want you to understand these differences this can be useful for you and then you also understand why we're using type hidden visibility hidden and display none because with display none it's not being considered but if you do visibility hidden and which many before those uh, search engine spammers are trying to do all kind of tricks by putting here keywords and then they would say visibility hidden or or they did the trick of making the background color almost hard to read or similar with the font color of the the keywords that they were using and it worked until google figured that out and then you get punished it was these were all kind of tricks but if you would do display none it will not work and it will not be considered as well so this is very very important to understand so if you have any questions regarding this but i think this is quite straightforward put them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i get back to you Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.